everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. King David said in Psalms 26, 12, my foot stands in an even place. In the congregations, I will bless the Lord. I came to remind someone to keep on praising them. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for all that you have done. Thank you for your mercy and for your grace and for your steadfast love. Thank you that you are the great God that we can serve and love and worship. Thank you for the examples in the Bible that we live by in these lives that have, you know, stood the test of time. So Father, I pray as we get into your word in Psalms 26, I pray, Lord, that you would enlighten Enlighten us, God, that you would open up our understanding that we might comprehend what the psalmist was saying, Lord God, to its fullest. And I come against the evil one that would try to block it, Lord. Let your anointing flow and let hearts be changed, chains be broken, God. And Father, let this word reach every single person that it is supposed to reach, Lord. So, Lord, I ask that you would lead me through this message, even by your spirit, so that your people would be edified and you, my Lord, would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, Father, let it be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. King David was a man who knew the God that he served hallelujah and his faith i want you to know was revealed even as a young man when the prophet samuel came to his house and after he had gone through david's other brothers and the lord directed him to david he anointed king david and david said yes but i want you to know today that that yes would bring him before a wicked man named Saul who, you know, would do evil and come after David and try to destroy David. But I want you to know that David walked with God and it didn't matter what Saul and what his enemies did. David continued to worship and serve the Lord. He reminded me as I read this psalm of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when he walked on this earth. You know, God, Emmanuel, God with us. And how Jesus came to save and to redeem and to, you know, set us free, set the captives free. And what did Jesus encounter when he walked on this earth he encountered so much opposition so much evil evil even coming from the people you know the pharisees and the sadducees and those that you know claim to be religious but i want you to know it does not matter what they did it didn't i should say it didn't matter what they did to our lord and savior jesus i want you to know that nothing could stop him hallelujah he was like a flint, you know, headed toward the cross for you and for I. And see, as we get into this text and this Psalm of David, David also was a man who had his eyes set on God. And David did not allow anything that came his way to stop him. He could have been disappointed so many times, running in the desert, hiding from Saul, you know, hiding in caves and running for his life because he said yes. But I want you to know that we serve a God that is righteous. We serve a God that is holy. We serve a God, hallelujah, that will judge, hallelujah. And when God judges, he has the ability to look down deep. You know, a lot of people look on the surface, but God knows the intents and the thoughts of the heart. So when David was crying out in this psalm, you know, for God to judge, hallelujah, the situation. Situation. He knew that when God got involved, that it was going 
to be all right. So as we start this series, hallelujah, I pray that we can see through the life of David as he, you know, left this psalm for us to dig deep into the word of God to see, you know, how David overcame all the opposition that was headed his way hallelujah and i want you to know that david was god's man yes he was and it didn't matter you know how much he was hated it didn't matter what the devil did he was god's anointed hallelujah and god allowed him to go through some things some things but i i can guarantee you this David made it to the throne. And when he made it to the throne, he still knew that he had to look up to heaven, to that great throne, every time he needed help. And God was faithful. He helped King David. Hallelujah. Through it all. Hallelujah. So come on and go with me as we begin this new series, again entitled, Keep On Praising Him. Verse 1 says, one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sin. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.